Junie B. Jones and some sneaky peeky spying. Chapter one. Sneaky peeky spying. My name is Junie B. Jones. The B stands for Beatrice, except I don't like Beatrice. I just like B. And that's all. I go to kindergarten. Kindergarten is what comes before first grade, except for I don't know why it's called that silly word of kindergarten, because it should be called zero grade, I think. My teacher has the name of Mrs. She has another name too, but I just like Mrs. and that's all. Mrs. has short brown hair and long skirts of wool and she smiles a real lot, except for sometimes when I'm noisy, she claps her loud hands at me. I used to scare me very much, only then I got used to it, and now I don't even pay attention. I wish Mrs. lived next door to me. Then me and her would be neighbors and bestest friends, and also I could spy on her. Spying is when you be very quiet, and you look at people through a sneaky peeky hole or a crack or something. I am a very good spyer. That's because I have sneaky feet, and my nose doesn't whistle when I breathe. Last night, last Friday morning at Grandpa Miller's house, I hide it in a dirty clothes hamper. Then my grandma came in the bathroom, and I lifted up the lid in a, a teeny bit, and I peeked my eyes at him, at Grandpa. And guess what? Grandpa Miller took his whole teeth right out of his head. That's what. I popped right out of the hamper. Hey, Grandpa, how did you do that crazy thing, I hollered. Then my Grandpa screamed very loud, and he run out of the bathroom speedy quick. Grandpa Miller has high blood pressure, I think. Very soon, Mother hurried into the bathroom with angry feet. That's it, she yelled. No more spying. This is the last time I'm telling you. Do you hear me, Missy? Do you? Yes, I said, because you're hollering right in my ear, that's why. Then Mother took me home, except for she kept staying mad at me. Find something quiet to do, she said, kind of growly. Your baby brother has to take his morning nap. So then I thought and thought, and about what to do. And a very great idea popped into my head. First, I took off my loud shoes. Then I tippy-toed into baby Ollie's room in just my sock feet. And I spied on him through the bars in his crib. Because what could be quieter than sneaky peeking spying, of course? Only too bad for me, because that boring old baby just kept on sleeping and sleeping. And he wasn't being fun. So that's how come I accidentally blowed on his face. And I tickled his nose with a ribbon. And I shouted, wake up, in his ear. And guess what? Holly opened his eyes. That's what. And then he started crying very loud, and Mother run into his room, only she didn't even see me, because I quick hide it in the closet. I smiled to just myself. I'm the best aspire in the whole wide world, I said inside my head. That's how come when I rode the bus to school that day, I did a little bit of bragging. I'm the best aspire in the whole world, I said to my best friend named Grace. Then I took off my shoes and I showed her my sneaky sock feet. See, I said, see how quiet they are? You can hardly even hear those guys. After that, I breathed in and out for her. And see, my nose doesn't whistle either, I said. That Grace smiled. I'm good at spying too, she said. I patted her. Yeah, only too bad, Grace, but you can't be as good as me because I said it first. That Grace did a mad breath at me. It's called a huffy, I think. I heard your noise. I heard your nose whistle, Grace, I told her. Just then, the bus got to the school. Me and that Grace raced each other to the playground, except for she beated me, only it didn't count because I wasn't really racing. Then we played horses with my other bestest friend named Lucille, only pretty soon the bell rang and we all ran to room nine, speedy quick. Mrs. was at the door waiting for us. Good afternoon, ladies, she said. Good afternoon, lady, I said back very politely. And Mrs. smiled at me. That's because she is the nicest teacher I ever saw, and so I wish me and her were bestest friends. And guess what else? I wish I could hide in her hamper. Chapter 2. Questions. Me and my bestest friend Lucille sit at my 
same table together. My table is where I sit up straight and do my work and don't talk to my neighbor, except I keep on forgetting that part. I wonder where Mrs. lives, I whispered to Lucille real quiet. Shh, said Lucille. We can't tell or else we'll get in trouble. And anybody, and anyway, you're not allowed to know where she lives because it's a secret. Says who, I asked. Says my brother, that's who, and he's in third grade. And he says teachers have to keep their house a secret or else kids might go there and throw rotten tomatoes. I did a huffy at her. Yeah, only I don't want to throw rotten tomatoes, Lucille, I explained. I just want to hide in her hamper and that's all. I don't care, she said. You're still not allowed because my brother said so and he knows more than you do, so there. I made an angry face. So there is not a nice word, Lucille, I said. And then I made a fist at her, except for Mrs. Saw me, so I had to unfold it. After that, I behaved myself very good. I sat up real straight, and I did all my work. Work is when you use your brain and a pencil. Only sometimes I accidentally use the eraser too hard, and a big hole rubs in my paper. Hey, I did beautifully today, I called out, because guess what? No hole, that's what. Mrs. came to my table. She put a gold star on my work. You did do beautifully, Junie B., she said. Maybe I'll hang this one on the wall for Grandparents' Day on Monday. Would you like that? Yes, I said. Only I keep on forgetting how come those guys are coming to this place. Then Mrs. explained to me all about Grandparents' Day again. She said our grandparents are coming for a visit, and we get to show them room nine, and also we get to have freshments together. Mrs. said freshments are cookies and be a beverage. I raised my head. Yeah, only I don't think I'm allowed to have the kind of drink named a beverage because I'm only allowed to have milk and juice and that's all. Mrs. looked up at the ceiling with her eyes. Then I looked up there too, but I didn't see anything. How many of you think you can bring cookies on Monday? I asked Mrs. I can, I can, I hollered very excited because my mother is the bestest cookie baker in the whole world. That's why, except for one time she accidentally forgot they were in the oven and the fireman had to come to our house. Mrs. laughed, only I don't know why because that was not a funny story. After that, she gave me a note for mother. It was some writing about baking cookies, I think. If your mother has any questions, please tell her to call me, said Mrs. Just then I got a very great idea. Hey, I said, maybe me and mother can bring the cookies to your house and so then I can see where you live. Mrs. rumpled my hair. You don't have to come to my house, Junie B. Just bring the cookies to school on Monday morning. I smiled very sweet. Yeah, only I still want to see where you live, I said. Then Mrs. turned around and she walked back to her desk. That's how come I had to follow her. Do you have the rich kind of house or the regular kind of house, I asked her, because I have the regular kind of house, except for... Mother wants the rich kind, only Daddy says lots of luck. Mrs. pointed at my chair. That means to sit down, I think. Yeah, only do you have a Daddy that lives at your house too? Are you any? Are there any pictures of him in your wallet? Let's look in there, okay? Do you have a secret compartment in there? Because my Grandpa Miller has one of those things with 50 bucks in it, only don't tell Grandma. Mrs. took my hand, then me and her walked back to my table. Yeah, only guess what? I'm wondering now. Now I'm wondering what your bedtime is. Because my bedtime is when the little hand is at the seven and the big hand is at the six. Only I hate that dumb, stupid bedtime because I'm not even tired yet, of course. Mrs. put her finger up to her lips. That's enough, Junie B., she said. I mean it. I want you to settle down now. Then she went right back to the front of the room and she didn't answer any of my questions. Because guess what? Why? Mrs. is a secret mystery guy. That's why. A secret mystery guy.